Okay. My reason of engaging is I see this American society now is in a transition. Uh, the society, American, is going to become a society without majority in about 20 to 30 years. Um, that's actually, I see as a historical moment for many minority organizations, including Chinese Americans and Asian Americans, to become part of a mainstream America, because we are part of American. We contribute to American culture and history. Now, but we need to be ready. So I feel, in, for myself, it is time for Chinese Americans, including myself, to be more actively engaged and to participate in American democracy and to contribute in our part. So that's the first question. Um, how do I participate? Right now I'm serving as the uh, a chairman, current chairman of the board for the United Chinese Americans, which is mainly um, it's only like two years old, but it's focused on helping, promoting the civic engagement among especially new immigrants from mainland China. So that's my current uh, engagement. Also, I, I am currently writing several articles regarding why a Chinese American need to be part of the mainstream and how we can we be and what is the political awakening which is happening in this group and what are some um, com a point that we're still in confusing or we're still seeking and looking. So I try to engage in that way as well. To, I believe we need some thought leadership in this area. So I want to contribute my part. As into the future, what I see uh, is that in the next 25 years, a quarter century is a critical to Asian Americans. I think it is time to in order to support us into the future, let's say if our goal is to achieve a population proportional represent representation in America, we look at there are 100 uh, senators, there's 435 representatives, and also there are over 3,000 county heads in this country, and plus there's 3,600 plus state representatives. And uh, Asian American actually right now is significantly below their population sharing in those positions. But at the same time, we, we just learned that according to uh, American New Economy, a study published last year, Asian American contribute, Asian Americans counted about 52 three percent of total population but we contribute over seven percent of a total tax paid so in america we all know there's no taxation without representation so we're really very much underrepresented in the next 25 years i feel we should working together to build a asian american community infrastructure that including identify new generation leaders building we have to know our data know our heritage and know our right and, and uh, know our responsibility and duties in participating in civic movement. And the Ding Ding TV actually is doing, I see, a very important part of that, helping to build that infrastructure because we need to our voice to be heard. We need to build a coalition among all Asian American organizations. Go beyond just organization. Let's think about a community, Asian American community. We come together, we should voice together on all the common key interests and issues, make our voice heard. We can also use the latest technology, big data, data science, to actually highlighting, showing, and let people, let other minorities, and let other people in America know about our heritage, our contribution, our data, uh, and, and, uh, and our thinking and our thought. So we really truly become part of American mainstream society. So we have a lot to do. And I'm even thinking we should have entrepreneurs come together to build a Asian American infrastru community infrastructure foundation to support the development of organizations, to support nurturing the new generation of leaders. But anyway, we're a part of American, we're here for the long term, and uh, we're here embracing American way of life that pursue our dream at the same time, cherish our own heritage. That's what's great about America. Thank you.